today I'm going to show you how to get your system ready for the new academic year. So first of all I'll show you what I've got on my test school at the moment so you can see. Here I've got all my different groups, um, so I've got one for each class, I've also got some other random groups. You can see here the different um, amount of, of pupils um, and the different amount of teachers in each group. So what you'll need to do first of all is go to the all pupil section. If you don't see this that's because you are not an admin user. You must be an admin user to carry out this. Then we're going to go to the new year wizard and there are two separate ways here. I'm going to go through the manual setup first of all and make a separate video on data entry. Manual setup is great for if you've got one or two classes per year group. Anything larger than that I would recommend data entry. So for any of the methods, they all start the same. You've got to delete your leaving pupils first. So the way to do this, in most schools it will be year six. So select your year sixes from the drop down. So in my term here, we've got class 6A. And then we're going to click all of the tick boxes there and click delete. If you've got another year six class as well, you can then select that one, whichever that is, um, and delete those as well. If you've got other users, uh, other leavers, sorry, from other different classes, you can then go and select them and delete them in the same way. Once you're happy, you've deleted all the children who are leaving, so will no longer be with you in the next academic year, you can then scroll down and click the green next button and this will then take us to the teachers and group page. All we want to look at in this page is are the group names correct for the next academic year? So don't worry about the pupils that are within them. I'm gonna delete this random spelling group here because I'm gonna start again afresh in the new academic year. So I've just now got my classes from reception uh, to year six and I'm happy with those. If you did want to rename, you can click on the rename button and do that. And then my next job is to edit the teachers. So your teachers may well have moved around for the new academic year. So if we click edit teachers here, we can remove certain teachers from this group. You may well have job shares or teaching assistants here, which is why you can add more than one. To add a new teacher, simply click add teacher and select that teacher. You may have some new teachers starting as well. So if you click add teacher, you can put in their email address and this will send them an invitation. You may need to add these new teachers to the groups afterwards once they've verified their email address. But once you're happy with the groups and the current teachers are in the right groups, you can then click next. And now we're going to move the pupils. So what we're going to do is we're going to start from the eldest pupils so that we move the children into empty groups because we've deleted all our year sixes now. So what I'm going to do is start with the eldest pupils that I've got on my system at the moment, which are the current year fives who will in the next month be year sixes. So I'm going to select all of those children, click move to group and that drop down and select class 6A. And you can do that so on and so forth with all of the different groups. If your classes are getting mixed up, you may well want to do the data entry method or you can do it. You will just need to go through each of the groups and select the particular children that are going in a particular class, say from class 4A, um, and move that to their next group. But that might take slightly longer. Once you've got all of the current pupils moved into their new classes, we're gonna click next and add our brand new pupils. So to do that, you can download a sample CSV file here and that will give you the correct headings. I'll quickly show you the one that I have done and I've populated and what I'm going to upload here. So these are all the headings you'll get once you've downloaded a 
example CSV file. Here we've got all the new names and the new classes they're going into. You might also not only for your youngest years have new pupils to add, but also some new starters that might be in some different classes. Things I would leave blank are the username, as this is unique within the whole of EdShed, unless you are using a school username. Emails, they're not really needed in our system, this is personal preference. Leaving the passwords blank will generate ones automatically, which we recommend. However, if you did want to use a standardised password, you could impact that here. UPNs, I would recommend the UPNs, so that in the future, if the, a child has a UPN saved to their name, they're less likely to get duplicated for any reason. And then display name. If you leave this blank, this will generate a random name for the leagues to keep the children anonymous. If you wanted to just maybe say have their first name, you could put input that here. What you must have are their names and groups, and I would highly recommend the UPNs. Once you've done that and you've saved your CSV file, if you click into where it says drop files here to upload and then select your particular file, you'll see that green message to say that they are uploaded successfully. If you've got any random single pupils um, to add, you can do that here. But I would recommend just doing the bulk of them all in that CSV file and then click next. Now here, will appear any pupils who are not in a group which are on your system and you'd simply select them and click add to group and put them in a group if needed so it's just a nice way to be able to tidy up any of those pupils then click next and what we'll have to do here is allocate licenses to pupils if you've got more than one uh, subscription I've here got a spelling and math subscription for 60 pupils and I'm currently using 40 of those licenses. You might have a phonics shed subscription, for example, that would be underneath here. And you would assign those differently because they might be for different year groups. If we click the yellow assign button. And then if we select unassigned. All of those pupils do not have a license. If you have got more pupils than you do licenses, you can easily solve that afterwards by going into the subscription section, click the downwards arrow and upgrade and add on the extra amount of pupils that you need there. And you can do that at any point within the school year. If you would like to add a license, you can simply click next to those pupils and then click save and then next and then we are done. If you're not sure about the licenses, you can still add those either on the groups page or the all pupils page if you wanted to check them. I'm going to click close new year wizard here. Then I can go into my groups page and if I click details, that will open the group and I can see that all of the new children are there. I can also see if any children within this group do not have a license for any reason. So you can go and do a quick check if needed. I also highly recommend deleting any teachers who may have left your school in the last academic year here. You can do that by clicking the bin icon. What you would need to do for admins is to unadmin them first and then you'll be able to delete them. I hope this was helpful.